So in today's video, I am going to be doing a eyebrow waxing tutorial. And I just want to show you guys how I wax my client's eyebrows before makeup application. So I am using the Gigi makeup wax kit and it comes with the wax warmer, the wax, some sticks and the strips and cleaner. So right now I am using the cleaner just to clean her brows before waxing them. So now I'm taking my eyebrow brush spoolie and I am just making sure I'm brushing her brows up in place. Now you just wanna comb up the brows because you wanna start taking some eyebrow shears and excuse me I couldn't find mine so I had to use my other shears that I had but it was totally fine but you just want to take off the excess hair that is going above her brows and then you want to just brush them back into place So you want to take her skin and pull it. If you look at my thumb, I'm pulling it the, in the opposite direction of the way I'm waxing it. So you just want to make sure the skin is pulled a little taut so that you can have a precise application. Because if not, the skin is going to drag and it's going to bunch up and that's what creates a complicated eyebrow wax. So I just like to do this step a couple times. I take wax and I just go over the area a couple times to just make sure I have everything clean and precise. And then I just take my wax strip and you wanna make sure you rub it thoroughly so that the wax is thoroughly on the wax strip and you pull in the opposite direction that the eyebrow hairs are going. You wanna make sure you do that. So now I'm working on the top part of her brows and I'm doing the same thing. I'm repeating the same steps. I am holding her skin taut. That way her eyebrows won't be, um, her skin won't kinda like clump up together as I'm running the, the brow wax over the brows. Again, I go over it a couple times just to make sure um, I have the best precision as possible. Again, I'm taking an eyebrow wax strip and I'm making sure I'm getting that wax all on that strip and I'm pulling in the opposite direction of the hair growth. And yep, just make sure you use the strip to get any excess wax off her face. And then I just go in with the tweezers and if it's any little hairs that's left that need to be plucked, just go right on ahead and pluck it. So guys, this is her waxed brow and her unwaxed brow, and you can see a difference. She didn't want anything with too high of an arch, so I just went in and cleaned up her natural brow shape. And guys, I went off camera, and I finished up the middle of her eyebrows and her other eyebrow, and this is the finished look after makeup application and filling in the brows.